Stress. It's more than you think it is. Stress is the main reason we get sick, age too quickly and die too soon. Stress is the main reason that we suffer physically or emotionally. Most people believe stress comes from people, places and events outside of us, but that is not true. Stress comes from within and science has identified its, its exact causes. If something happens that appears to cause stress, like a lost job, a divorce or an illness, for example, the extent to which these situations seem to cause suffering was usually already in place before the stressor happened, just waiting for the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back to appear, such as a lost job, the divorce or the illness. Stress is unconscious mostly and it is caused by an ancient hundreds of millions of years old part of our nervous system called the autonomic nervous system. Now there are two parts to the autonomic nervous system. The rest digest parasympathetic part which is regenerative and where our mind body prefers to be. We dip deeply into the parasympathetic state when we sleep. The other part of the autonomic nervous system is the sympathetic, the fight, flight, the part of the autonomic nervous system that responds to emergencies. The sympathetic nervous system becomes a degenerative force if it persists too long. When we are angry, we are in the fight part of the autonomic nervous system and when we are afraid or nervous, we are in the flight part. Studies have shown that if we stay in the fight flight mode too intensively for too long, that we suffer chronic symptoms that worsens or causes every single medical or psychiatric problem that exists and is in fact the root cause of suffering, rapid aging and premature death. Every healthcare practitioner or healer on the planet in one way or another attempts to lessen the sympathetic fight, flight, degenerative stress of others, whether they or their benefactors know it or not. Now, of course, like for most things in life, those who come to understand such a basic truth like this are in an advantageous position to directly do something about it. If you understand what stress is, what causes it, where it comes from inside of us and what can alleviate, then you too will be in a position to modify your sympathetic stress and improve your life. At least 12 areas of stressors exist. Emotional stressors like post-traumatic stress disorder, cognitive stressors from irrational thinking, sensory stressors such as chronic pain, metabolic stressors like hypoglycemia, toxic stressors like heavy metal poisoning, immune stressors like food allergies. There are endocrine stressors such as hormone imbalances, stressors from purposelessness and meaninglessness of life, infectious stressors like Lyme and Candida, oxidative stressors like sleep apnea, and energetic stressors such as exposures to Wi-Fi's and cell phones and microwaves, and structural stressors like spinal malformations. All of these stressors are related to each other most have causes which are unconscious, but they can be uncovered through laboratory and other diagnostic testing. And most are modifiable through lifestyle, nutritional, detoxification, and other standard integrative medicine interventions. The effects of these 12 stressors are primarily driven by a single neurotransmitter in the brain, noradrenaline, which
can, worse, can be worsened by genetic predispositions called methylation defects. And these can be determined through simple diagnostic testing and significantly modified to lessen overall sympathetic stress. In the 12 stressor video series, I will go into detail about modifying each of these stressors as well as their causative genetic factors. But in this introductory key concept series, I simply want to make a few simple assertions. Number one, stress is the reason we get sick, age too quickly, and die too soon. Number two, stress is the reason that we suffer physically or emotionally. Number three, despite the fact that most people believe stress comes from other people, places, and events outside of us, that is absolutely not true. Stress comes from within, and medical science has identified its exact causes and solutions. Number four, the knowledge as to exactly how our personal and unique stress patterns work can position us to alleviate stress, which improves our prognosis in dealing with any medical or psychiatric disorder we may face in life, slows down our aging, and improves our overall happiness.